Hey guys, welcome up to another episode. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to finish off the crouching and it'll all be glitch free and perfect. Uh, if you do have glitches at the end, do leave a comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and carry on. Okay, so, so far we have no glitches. We can do this, we can do that, but it's not the best, such as... It just doesn't look that good. Just quite along the floor. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to get a crouching animation. Uh, we're going to... Uh, what else are we going to do? Oh, yeah. If you're crouching, you can't look too far up, too far down. Also, the mouse sensitivity will be a bit different. And, yeah. Okay, well, camera needs to be clipped down. Where's that main camera? Main camera. Main camera. Okay, you guys don't have to do this, but... It annoys me if I don't. Okay, so. <clears throat> All right, okay. <laughs> we gotta have two cameras. It's because I do it different in Undead Paradise, you know, I get, I, I get confused. Okay, so. <clears throat> like, we're, go we're gonna carry on here. Uh, so, we're gonna go ahead and open our player controller. And that's all we need open for now. So let's go ahead and create a variable called main camera. Um, yes, that's going to be a game object. Don't know why the hell there's a V in there. Let's get rid of that V and put a capital G. Okay, save that. Now we want to go down and we want to go ahead and create a new function. Actually, do we need to? No, we don't. We're going to go up here and do it where it plays the animation somewhere. Somewhere here. Animations play. Yeah, in these bits here. So we're going to go ahead and have our main camera. Dot get component. And then we're going to have our mouse look script. And we're gonna have the and let's see, we're gonna need our min a mem crap, we're gonna have to open up the script and take a look. <laughs> Main camera, click on it, and click mouse look script and just double click it and open it. Maybe we can get all our variables, so we want the minimum x. No, we don't want minimum well, damn it. Minimum y we need. Minimum y and let's duplicate that because we will also need to get the maximum, won't we? So instead of minimum, we're going to go ahead and grab the maximum. Save. And we want our sensitivity, don't we? Sensitivity. Wait, do we? No, we. Mm, we should do the sensitivity, shouldn't we? <laughs> it's probably a good idea. So, sensitivity, X and Y. Yeah, we're going to have to do both. So, let's go ahead and copy this. Paste two of them. And grab our sensitivity, X. And sensitivity, Y. Let's go to the top. Create some variables. Okay, so... Crouch. I'm still pretty sure that I'm not spelling that right, but... That'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna have a new variable called crouching sensitivity. Sensitivity. Yeah, that's fine. And <laughs> not meant to be a space. My old age, you know. And then this is also gonna be a float. Close that off. Let's copy this. Paste that. This is going to be prone. And this is obviously going to be prone sensitivity. Prone sensitivity, yeah. And we're going to go ahead and stand. Doesn't deserve to be copied. Variable standing. Standing. 
sensitivity. I'm not that good with spelling. <laughs> but I passed English, so I guess it's all good. Okay, now save. Now in the awake function, I'm going to go ahead and have standing sensitivity equals this. Close. Save. Okay, so now this will be set to whatever it is when you start the game, which is whatever you put in the main camera. And these we will have to set ourselves. So our sensitivity for crouching will be about 3. And for proning will be... Um, Should we just, we'll just have that too, yeah, might as well. We can change it later, can't we? So we'll just save that, and now we're going to delete them. Here, down here. Okay, this is standing, so minimum y, maximum y, equals, 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 oh, my phone's gone off. Uh, that'll practically e equal my default, which I'm pretty sure is... Well, we're going to have as minus 70 just for funsies. I think that's what I have on Undead Paradise. Excellent, it's going to be 70. And then this is just going to be standing sensitivity, standing sensitivity. Let's close all these off with our semicolons. Save that. Now we're going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to put it in the crouch. And the maximum and minimum is going to change. We're going to do 60. 60. Go ahead and save that. And that's going to be crouch in sensitivity. Uh, copy that. Put it there. Put it there. Save. And once again, copy and paste. Okay, now here, instead of 60, we're going to go ahead with 20. And maximum is going to be 40. And of course, it's going to be prone sensitivity. Okay, now I don't really know what this is going to be like, so let's just go in and hit that play button. Oh, has it been assigned? Okay. Where are you at? There you are. Assign that. Then we hit the play. Okay, so we crouch. Sensitivity is pretty slow. We stand. Yeah, that's definitely faster. Okay, well, let's maximize it so that we can actually see. Yes, that's fine. And crouch. That's fine. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> that shouldn't be happening. It broke the gun. Okay, wait, let's <laughs> Okay, that happened with me changing the sensitivities. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the X. Just get rid of that. Because I think that's what's breaking the gun. We'll just play this for now. Here, 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 here. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but the Y is definitely changing. Okay, now about the X, I don't know how we're going to do that. Oh, we'll leave that for now, we'll come back to it. Okay, save project. If you guys really want to know how to do it, then just comment and then I'll make another video. But until then, I'm, I'm just going to leave it out. Um, so that's that bit done. Now that changes all that stuff. Now we need a... We'll need a... Animation won't we? Wait, how much time we got? Actually, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. This is an exclusive to celebrate us completing the crouching system. <laughs> so let's go to animations, animations, animations. And inside here, we're going to go window animation. I'm going to go ahead and create a new animation. We're going to click this. No click. Animations. And we're going to have crawling. Crawling. 
animation. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And now we're gonna go ahead and make a crawling animation. So let's go ahead and start. So first of all, we want it to look nice and crawly. I hope that makes sense because it didn't in my head. Okay, we'll start there. And we'll come to about here. Move it right up a bit. Move it forward. Okay, and then about one. So completely forward. Maybe a bit to the right. Down. Up. I don't know, just play around. <laughs> Pretty much all I'm doing. And then we'll copy this one. That is a really crap animation. But we're gonna use it. Okay, so this is just a tutorial, it doesn't have to be the best, right? <laughs> right? Okay, so we go to our animations, then we get that name. Oh, oh crawling, there we go. So we'll just click on that. Control C. And in the walking, would it be walking? It would be walking, wouldn't it? Because it won't be sprinting. Well, gotta open that down script. Animations, player script. And here we are in our lovely player script. We go to the bottom where it's walking here. We want to have an if statement. We'll put something in the if in a sec. We want colons because colons are nice and make everybody happy. And then we're going to have an else. Then we want some more colons. And I'm just going to comment this out so I can remember the name. We're going to copy this. Uh, we're going to paste that in there. Instead of these, we're going to change the animations, names, animation names to these. It's actually really simple and pretty easy. And then in this if, we're, we're going to have, wait. Yeah, in this if, we're going to have it so that it's, wait. <laughs> yeah, here we go, play it. Gonna copy this and make it so that yeah, I'm not I'm just yeah. If exclamation mark paste. If it's not equal to two, then it plays the normal walking. But if it is equal to two, then it plays the crawling. Seems fair, right? Okay. Now this might not even work, but that's worth a shot, right? Whoa, whoa okay, it plays the crawling straight away. Even when it is and isn't too. What's up with that? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Instead, I'm gonna copy this. Copy this. Delete it. Delete the else. I'm gonna have that as an else instead. So paste. And we'll put an else here. We're gonna put out if statement here and we're gonna go up we're gonna grab our player status prone if player status equals true then it'll play the crawling animation and if it isn't it'll play the walking should be fine we'll be fine go there hit play see what you're at yeah there we go it works Hells yeah, it moves really slow. Okay, so let's change that. So in the animation speed here, walk crawling animation to speed. So just add a little times for there, that'll do. That'll probably be really fast. Let's find out. That's uh, really fast. Okay, let's. You're gonna have to play around with this and see if you can get it at the right speed. I'm just gonna go for 2.5, and that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of. And then I walk into something. And yeah, yeah, it's all completely fine and nice. Now, 
uh, well not now but in the next episode I'm gonna make it so that if you walk into an object he'll like move the gun away and that'll be a nice feature to have and yeah thanks for uh, thanks for watching <laughs> So I'm going to save all this, make sure you save, because I never save, and then my computer usually has a go at me for not saving. Okay, whatever, see you later.